I'm sorry, what? This boy. I want him. What? I'm sorry, miss. You can call me the Queen of Mars. I... You're serious. <clears throat> Never mind. But what makes you think I can just give young Midoriya to you? Are you not his father? No. Uh, let me see, I gotta explain this. I'm his mentor. Hmm, yeah, whatever. Either way, <clears throat> I saw what he did to try and save his little, I wanna say friend, or just an innocent bystander. So I decided that he has what it takes to be my husband. Uh, uh, but you, you can't just declare that without talking with him first. <sighs> Listen here. I'll, I'll make you a deal. Relinquish him to me, and I shall not let the world know that you are weakened to such a pitiful state, Mr. Might. Uh, I, you know what? I don't care. You can go ahead and tell the whole world. I really hope that will work. No matter. Okay. Either give me young Midoriya, as you called him, or I will destroy this planet. What? Yes, I have my armada just ready to pretty much destroy this whole rock. You can't do that. Oh no, of course I can. I have an army with spaceships and all the like. What? Really willing to do whatever I say. You don't have much choice here. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, young Midoriya, Zuku is pretty much just like I. I don't know what to say, but why do you want to marry me again? Because you are very interesting, brave. I've studied this world enough to know that mm, humans have gotten stronger. Very much stronger than how they used to be. But there is still a small percentage of them who don't have these powers, and I can only surmise that you are one of these humans. But, yeah, so I'm correct, you don't have one of these quirk things. Yeah, even then, you ran into such a dangerous situation. Not caring about your well-being, that is exactly what I am looking for. Uh, but I, um, I, I've never even, what? I, I don't know. I don't know if I can, okay, how about this, either I, you marry me or I'll destroy this planet. But then she already... Oh yes, but this time I'm threatening you. Uh, I, I don't see a way out of this. <sighs> there isn't any. Either I'm getting hitched to you or this planet becomes nothing but space debris. Yeah, have 10 seconds to choose. Okay, I'll marry you. Splendid. Let's go home so we can inform Mother. 
Who, who, wait, your I'm meeting your parents already? No, I'm eating yours. And apparently since the Mr. Might is not your father, hmm, oh well. Come now, you can't, don't want to keep mother waiting. As, yeah, this is right in the middle of All Might wanting to give Izuku one for all, at least tell him in which, you know, training was supposed to occur. So yeah, kind of threw a monkey wrench into that plan. Much to the point where all my pretty much like, oh my god, I can't believe this just happened. Wait, I still want to give him my quirk, but... Uh, wait. Actually, yeah, that actually works. As, yes, Suzuku is riding off into a spaceship, right back home. Inko, she is shocked to hear that he's been getting married, but... The reasoning for that, she almost passes out, but then he's like, oh, wait, no, you're just joking, right? It's like, no, I'm not. Oh, come on, you had to be joking. As then she pretty much, okay, <clears throat> if you don't mind, start the fireworks. As in, there is a loud crash and a whole flurry of explosions coming out just outside, loud enough for people to hear, and close enough so people can see what's going on. In which, yes, people see spaceships, and they see that what's getting exploded are satellites. Do you believe me now, woman? Yes. So, I'm marrying your son. If he's okay with it. Oh, yeah, he's okay with it. Are you? Yes, Mom, I'm, I'm okay with it. Please. <laughs> Please, I'm just not question anything else. This, this woman, she's... Hot headed, it, it, it seems. She has a quick temper or whatever. And for some reason, she likes getting her way. I don't know why she's like this, but apparently, we're getting married. Hmm. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> huh? What the? Wait, what's that? I. Izuku, upon waking up, he notices, oh, wait, I'm in my room again. Man, that was a weird dream, a very weird dream. Until he hears a slight groan followed by a moan as something grabs onto him. At least his waist, so to speak. Him pulling back covers, yeah, he sees Queen Queenie Mars. Only thing is, he's screaming and freaking the fuck out, as you can imagine. Him wanting to know what happened, he's like, oh. Yeah. Let's see, how should I explain this? Pretty much a flashback. Izuku, upon saying, yeah, I'm gonna marry her, yay. Uh, or else she's gonna destroy us all. <laughs> Yay! This is when All Might does burst in, attempting to pretty much either reason with the Queen of Mars or at least, you know, uh, force her to submit. To, you know, not destroy the damn planet! In which Izuku, of course, is freaking out. He's trying to. To explain that he's already accepted everything, his mom's okay with it, and the, what she was doing, it was just a demonstration. She shot down satellites! Oh, right. And besides, I want... Wait, that's right. I want to give you my quirk. What? 
Yeah, I can do that. You can? Mm hmm. Do you accept? Yes! Always wanted to work, I wanted to be here, whatever. All this bullshit. But then, he's just like, wait. Him looking back at the queen is pretty much. Huh. Looks like you're gonna get your power super after all. Does this affect how me and you. Huh? Oh! <laughs> if you're worried about that, no, no. It doesn't affect anything whatsoever. Really? Of course not. If anything, I'm going to train myself. What? Oh, yes, you have no idea the capabilities of us Martians. Oh. So, you're going to train me? Of course. Especially considering you would need a, a more suitable teacher compared to him. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. It's just that I don't think you're really the teaching sort. But what? I don't see you as a good teacher. At all. If anything, it would be ludicrous to allow you to teach him. My new husband. I, I, I'm the one hero. Yes, yes, you are. In Japan. Yeah, just because you have a pretty smile, you have power, yes, that I'm pretty sure you will start losing if you passed on your quirk. Is this, is this true? Uh, yeah, 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 it's true. What are you going for going to tell me this? I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Huh, well, the cat's out of the bag, so to speak. Anywho. See what else do I have to do today? Uh, find someone to marry, check. Let's see, do new, blah 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 blah. Hmm. Either you know, way, I have enough time in my schedule to at least take you to Mars. What? Oh yes, I'm taking you to where I, I live. Really? Are you are you you're really we're really gonna I mean now of all times? Yeah. Why? It's you know, it's just that this is a lot of process and don't you usually need a That's cute. You actually think whatever. Either way, yes, I'm taking you to Mars. At least three of you. Three? Yeah, suddenly your father is not here. So, at the very least, I guess Mr. Might would have to be a substitute. Sorry. Uh, but I. Why are you taking my mom? Well, she would have to get more used to her. No, new surroundings. Sooner or later. What? Oh yeah, she's coming with us. But I want to be a hero here. Why? It's just I want to be the one hero like all my. That's adorable. Truly, truly is adorable. But, hmm. you know what? Yeah, 
Let's, let's do that. What? Yeah, sure, why not? If anything, you'll still be betrothed to me, so... So, I don't have to leave Earth? Oh no, you're leaving this place. Only thing is, you will be able to go to and from. You'll still be a hero. Uh, hold on. As this phone-like thing just starts ringing, and she just picks it up and says, Okay, what is it? Yeah. We, you have a meeting. What? With who? The world leaders. Uh, why? Well, that stunt you pulled. Stunt? What are you talking? Oh, the fireworks. Yes. Having us shoot down their satellites like that, that is, uh, you know, that draws some attention. With the attentions of those who put them there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you have a point there. Oh well. You can at least sound more remorseful. I'm the queen, I can do whatever I want. I want fireworks, and you grunts did what you were told. Plain and simple. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, dear. I'm going to have to put a pin on our, uh, you say, trip. But, don't worry. I'll be back soon. Just going to have to pretty much... Hmm. Should I be forceful? Put the fear of God into them. Or should I be the innocent... As type of ruler. Either way, this could be quite the performance. Her leaving. As Izuku, Inko, and All Might are pretty much like. <sighs> I, I have no idea how this is going to end. Well, hopefully. Earth doesn't get destroyed because I like it here. So do I. But Mars, I can't believe I can't believe there's life out there and so close to NASA needs NASA. All the space programs need to get a refund on those damn rovers. Yeah. But if anything, why don't they just go back to what they were doing before. What do you mean? You do know NASA used to be for underwater exploration. What? Oh, you <laughs> young Midori, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, first you were going to explore the oceans, but then they decided to switch it up. Why? I'm not sure, actually. Uh. Uh. <sighs> no, 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 no. Please tell you're joking. Why? Would that be a big deal? A big deal? A big deal? Think of it like this. If you... We're exploring the oceans. Body of water on the planet you already live in. And for some reason, you decided to switch it up and go exploring beyond the stars where you are a sure enough complete stranger. What would possibly make you want to do that? Probably be. Uh, I was too bored. Marine biology is still a thing. I doubt that's a reason. Um. 
maybe I saw something uh, that made me want to rethink my whole exactly. Imagine something that scared you stiff that you saw out in the ocean water that shares the same planet you do and you are thanking the heavens above that it stays in the water. Unless... Hmm... What? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Positive. <sighs> Nothing to worry about yet. What? Nothing. <clears throat> so... You're gonna be my successor. What is it now? Hearing that you're gonna lose your quirk it makes me more hesitant. Oh, please don't do that. What? I already chose you. You are worthy of this quirk. If anything, you're gonna be stronger than me. In my prime. What? Oh, yes, the more it carries on, the stronger it becomes. Either way, let me explain this quirk to you. A lengthy explanation, and this time he includes all for one, who he still thinks is dead. Wow. Yep. So as long as this all for one character didn't pass on his quirk, we're good. Yep. Ugh. But yeah, someone who can give and steal quirks is just was a real powerhouse. As then Inko falls to her knees. So that's what happened. Hmm? Oh damn, I forgot your mother was here. Me too. As he was very surprised to see all them tears running through her face. It's like, all this time I thought she just up and left just disappeared. Though, yeah, I have my suspicions that she, she could have passed, but... Mom, what are you talking about? Your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry? Nana Shimura. She was my mom. As then, all my takes a little glance, seeing the family portrait of Izuku, Inko, and Hasashi, and then he really starts to see the similarities between Inko and Nana. So, you look just like her, except less fit. What's that supposed to mean? No, I'm talking about here. You look. Thinner. She was more built. So, huh. Yeah, yeah, there she was. <sighs> I just wish I knew about this all for one and one for all thing sooner. We could have helped her all this time. If my brother, he hated heroes. I think he still does. I haven't talked to him in so long. <sighs> this is terrible. I, I don't don't do that. There's a lot going on. I just need some time to process this. I'm back! Uh, oh, yeah. You. Hi! What's, so, uh, what's going on? What's with the waterworks? Uh, <clears throat> nothing. If anything, let's, uh, let's go. To uh, 
Mars. As yes, before they get there, Ziggur does want to know what she did. It's pretty much she gave them the sob story of how she was looking for a husband who was brave enough, selfless enough to lead her people to yada yada yada, golden age, blah blah blah, protect them, and pretty much presume strength and all that. And yeah, she got them crying like newborn babies. That's terrible. But it worked. Yeah, we're at least to leave me alone. And once we get fully married, Mr. Might and Mador Miss Midoriya. I'll be more happy when they leave us all alone. But, well, if anything, it depends how many kids do you want. <laughs> <coughs> uh, are you alright? <laughs> I'll take that as, uh, you're excited. <laughs> no? What? What's that supposed to mean? What was what, what no mean? Apparently, Earthling language it, it, it is a bit different than it is in Martian. What does no mean? I, it's not that I don't want to get it, but it's just, it's kind of soon, don't you think? Aren't you a little rushing into this? You're lucky you're cute. But, I guess, yeah, we can wait. But one thing for sure, you're mine when you're ready. Uh, do me a favor? What? Be gentle with me? It's time. No. <laughs> no, 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 I, <laughs> that's, uh, that's just wishful thinking, no. As yes. Again, they forget that All Might and Inko are right there. Inko, she runs up to Izuku and hugs him, trying to protect him from this woman. But you can't protect him forever. That is mine. <laughs> Mom? Yes? I'm scared. I know. I'm scared for you. I have no idea what this woman's going to do to you. As long as you are still intact, both in mind and in body, you can persevere. What kind of pep talk is that? It's the best I got considering we had pretty much no choice but to agree to this union. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's very fair. But still, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to get patrolled to this someone so soon I mean, I still have my life ahead of me yeah but now you're gonna be a king yeah the only thing is it's <laughs> I want to be a hero not a king like I didn't even know Aliens existed? Neither did we. But, at least, now we know. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, well, either way, we're here. Upon seeing this city, the kingdom that which Izuku is about to inherit as the king, 
He's pretty much in awe. And so is All Might and Inko. Inko's still holding on to Izuku pretty much like, I will protect you as much as I can. And then, you can hear the trumpets blaring as they welcome their her queen back with surprisingly guests, one being the future ruler. Only thing is, there are some uh, stairs. I'm wondering what was she thinking? Because All Might is skinny might, in which they're he looks like he's half dead. It's like, oh no, he's not my future husband. He is. Boy Izuku, how old is he? He's so, just embarrassed. So, I, I, um, I'm 14. Them looking at her. I don't know why, but this seems illegal. Well, in uh, on his planet, and his what is it called country country, where where he's from, there's some gray area there, and heck, some other places. It's even. Oh God, boy. man, this planet is fucked up sometimes. <clears throat> Younger, what? Yeah. So at the very least, we're not really gonna do anything until he reaches the good old age of maturity, of course. Oh. Okay. I I guess that's the unacceptable answer. Good. Now to the training room. But ma'am, you just got back. There's paperwork. I can worry about that later. First things first, my husband needs to get trained up so he can get this quirk thingy. What? Uh, long story, doesn't matter. Okay, first things first. All Might, how are you going to give my husband your quirk? Uh, he's not ready to receive it yet. What? If he were to get my quirk now, as he is, not even a millimeter of muscle mass. Sorry, kid. I understand. He would blow his limbs off. So he needs to get bulkier. More refined muscles. Uh, how long is that going to take? Well, let's see. Is the gravity here heavier or no you know stronger or weaker here than earth hmm weaker oh yeah it's gonna take him a long time it's gonna it's gonna take more than 10 months hmm let's fix that then what as then the instantly feel a huge weight just on their shoulders they're wondering what the hell is going on. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, this whole place has artificial gravity. What? Yeah, we can make it weaker or stronger if we want. Why do you have this? Well, think of it like this. The planets we can go to, thanks to our wonderful technology and spaceships, they're not all the same, you know. Okay. So, why not condition our bodies for heavier planets 
so we don't break our legs or arms or any bone for that matter just trying to go for a, a stroll. On the bright side, heck, not only would we be stronger when you could actually leave this place, especially considering Mars, you'll be stronger than some regular Earthlings. Really? Well, yeah, as I would say so. Technically, since you are from Earth and grew up around that gravity, you actually are, you know, stronger than the soldiers who haven't gone out of this training. Oh. <sighs> okay. If anything, I think this level of gravity would be uh, perfect. At least for the time being, it will be. We'll try to ramp it up as we go. Oh, that's great. Either way, I guess you should start with the push-ups. What? Yeah, might as well. I mean, you got how many months you said all night? Ten. Huh, I'm surprised to see you struggling. This is more weight than I'm used to. Hmm, that's fair. Try using your, what did you call it, buff form? See if that helps any. All my buffs up. He wish he had, there's, there's less strain on him. But, uh, time limit. So he knows he can't keep this up forever. Tim, these lungs. Oh, he's lung. Right, I forgot you were critically injured, you poor thing. Come on, let's fix that while Izuku, you continue to work out. Wait, what? Oh yes, we have very advanced medicine here. Really? So you... Yes, we can fix your whole respiratory system, whatever. Everything. We won't even have to use cybernetics to replace them, so consider yourself lucky. As yes, he's a goo. Under the stress of, let's say, 0.5 times Earth's gravity, nothing too much. But something that he'll feel it in the morning if he overdoes it. Only thing is, within two months of this, the newbie gains are amazing. Yes, he's bulkier. But not so much that he looks like the Dodgers after that what the hell or two that happened on the episode. Man, I love that. That cartoon was funny as hell. One thing is, All Might is beyond shocked. Him tracking Izuku's progress through those two damn months, but like, you can have one for all now if you want. What? So I'm ready to use your full power? No, 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 no. Um, no, just no. Though, so, yes, you can use it without destroying your body, so to speak. It would not be wise to use 100% right off the bat. If anything, go up a percentage or so, and once you hit uh, too much, then, and only then, you can't can you just uh, train with it or something. Oh. Okay, now that's done. How are you giving him your quirk? Oh, yes. Poking out here is like, eat this. What? Yes, he has to eat my hair or just some of my DNA. You're joking. Nope, I am serious. No. 
You are not doing that. Well, there are other ways, but is Izuku, are you sure you... Izuku just snatches the hair like, I suffered enough just to be able to use this power. If this does not work... Oh my. You are... You have quite a sharp tongue now, don't you? I know. I'm so proud. You did this! Oh yeah, I did. You're welcome. You wait. Pass it to you through the gums, you know the saying. Suku so eats it. And as disgusted as he does feel of doing it, it's like, hopefully that was the hard part. Oh, yes, as soon as I just, boom, you got the quirk. Yeah, but, if anything, you will have to be careful with it because this amount of power. Understood. So, anything else I should know? Mm, I say you can learn it by ear. You, you just, you can pick up on it as you go. Wow, thank goodness I came along or else who knows what kind of bullshit he would have to go through. What do you mean? You pretty much just told him to wing it. When it comes to using your quirk, that is beyond stupid. First things first, let's see how this quirk works. Easy to go. As they go back to said training room, and by this time, Izuku is around two times Earth's gravity. As soon as he starts powering up, she notices his obvious fuck up. Why are you doing that? What? Why are you only focusing the power through your legs or your arms? Why not your whole body? Oh, what did I think of? I don't know either. From what I've read in your hero journals, you are very intelligent. For some reason, I don't know how or you did not think of that sooner. In which, let's say you can at least use 8%. Without strain. 10 yeah, he starts feeling it a little bit. Fifteen. Yeah, he's not. He's gonna be feeling that in the morning. And Miss Queenie is pretty much all right. Let's see what this new found power can do against me. What? As she blitzes Yuzuku. Though, yes, it may seem like, how in the hell did she do that? For one, she's older. Two, she has combat experience and she is no slouch to fighting when necessary. Three, Izuku just got this quirk and sure as hell doesn't know how to really utilize it in a fight as of yet, besides trying to copy All Might. So, yeah. There are plenty of other reasons, but still, Izuku is shocked at how skilled this queen, his soon-to-be wife, is about to be. Just like, uh, okay. <clears throat> Again. What? Again? You want me to whoop your ass again? You can try. Cute, cute, very cute. Alright. Let's see how long it takes for me to break you. As yes. After ten more rounds of getting his ass whooped, 
Izuku finally at least able to fight back. To an extent, he at least lands one hit on her. Thankfully, for using 15% at the last possible second, and the air pressure slamming her against the wall. All might, he's happy to see that Izuku is still in one piece. Inko, she's still. She's still a bit more grieving than you can imagine. Though, yes, she has seen Izuku train, seen his progress, and what she's all happy for him. One thing is, no, realizing he was just given the power, not only of the, the number one hero in Japan, but the same power her mom had. That ultimately resulted in her untimely death. So yeah, she's very scared she, to the point where she's like, "Oh my god, I should." Have, if only he had his own quirk, he wouldn't have gotten this one. Possibly, it probably wouldn't have been as bad. It, if he would just got a regular quick Why does that to happen? It's pretty much going through our mind. As we approach to the, the whole, let's just say, five months have gone by. People have noticed the change in Izuku's behavior. Not only just his body and mannerisms, but when it comes to Bakugo wanting to mess with him, Izuku either ignores him or is just gone. While he's gone, he disappears. So you can just imagine he's you're bullying someone, you're trying to mess with him, but then he's gone. So obviously. Bogo in his head, thinking, oh my god, he has a quirk now. But, he needs to catch Izuku in the act before he tears him a new asshole. Now, he does this, it's obvious. He follows Izuku on his visit to Mars. Seeing that Izuku is actually like, says, when does he drive? He's... Actually, uh, goes into the trunk, so to speak. At least what can be considered a, a trunk in a spaceship. When he finally feels a stop, he bursts through the trunk and says, I knew you had a quirk. Where the hell are we? How did you? Uh, I should have known. So you were the reason I felt so off. What do you mean? I felt like someone was following me, but I just talked it up to paranoia. What well, was you? What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you want, Bakugo? I, I'm not doing anything remotely to piss you off. I just want to live my life, become a hero. You have a quirk now. Yes, I do. Fight me. Uh, please. I really don't want to fight you. Are you scared? No. I just really don't want to fight you. Yeah, you're scared. <sighs> Fine. A quick match. That's it. Also, where are we? Mars. What? Didn't you 
listening to the news announcement that Mars had life on it and blah blah blah, Queen of Mars, blah blah blah. So it's true. Yep. Wait, but how are you? How do you have a ship that goes here? Eh. It's perk. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's get this fight over with. Sooner we do, sooner I can just mm, spend time with my loved ones. Whatever. As yes, as soon as they start, Izuku doesn't even need one for all to completely blitz Bakugo. Bakugo is used to Earth's gravity. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, Izuku, last time, he's used to three times Earth's gravity. So, yeah, Bogo's movements are not only moving in slow motion to him, but when he does let it hit, at least an explosion, yeah, it's nothing compared to what Izuku's done to himself using one for all. Which, at this time, I'll say he has actually, I'll say, 25%. He knows how strong Wolf for All is, so he's definitely holding himself back. Bongo, realizing that he not only lost, but he lost hilariously fast, constantly asks for a rematch until he had been beaten black and blue and sent home. Izuku feels bad not only for being the shit out of Bakugo, but also just. Ugh, it wasn't even really a good fight. If anything, if more like him taking on a child. In which. As far as calling him Kachan, Izuku doesn't do. Yeah. Being with someone who. Isn't completely like Bakugo, but enough so you're like, wait a minute. Huh, she sure, she warmed up to me to a good degree that we, I'm more willing to have her stay in the same bed with me. Though she does have some tendencies to be a bit rash, like Koski. She is nowhere near as intense as he can be. She sure as hell wouldn't tell me to take a damn swan dive. So yeah, you can only imagine Izuku having such a comparison. Yeah, he doesn't really care for Bakugo as much. As far as he's concerned, Bongo is just an asshole, as you can imagine. When Bongo wakes up, yeah, he is very pissed off, disappointed in himself that he lost so spectacularly. Hmm. Oh well, it happens. But the thing is, him seeing that Izuku not only beat him, has a quirk, has a ship to Mars, which yes, it's been, hell, it's been news about what's been going on on Mars. So when he does get this letter, saying that, I'm sorry you had to get watched by me so bad. But at the very least, you won't remember it. There's a flash 
a blinding light envelops Bakugo. We see you pretty much like, dude, what the hell? Turn on these lights. Bakugo, he's out cold. We see, seeing he's covered in bruises, Huh. Maybe he finally got his ass whooped. Turn off his light after putting him in bed. So yeah. Next time Bakugo wakes up, he remembers following Yuzuku. He just doesn't remember the spaceship and going to Mars and getting his ass whooped by him. And to be honest, Yuzuku doesn't really want to bring it up either. Now, we're at the whole 10 months ending of the training. Izuku has 50% of one for all. He's only needed to use the strength enhancement. He doesn't even know about Black Whip or the other quirks yet. And as far as him using gravity, oh yeah. Ten times gravity, this is new jam. He's stronger, faster. All my is to be completely honest. Though he actually did end up losing one for all a lot faster. Training with Izuku, especially when it comes to sparring, he feels stronger as well not to his prime he feels one for all slipping away and everything but with him now healed scar gone and and everything yeah like, I, I, feel, I feel hopeful I feel very hopeful for the future of hero kind yes and you go, she's come to terms with, uh, okay, I cannot stop him, my son from wanting to become a hero. And I definitely can't stop him from becoming the king of Mars. But at the very least, I can support him the best I can. In which, yes, you go being best mom, she actually does end up uh, slowing down and getting some of her height back. Not full young Inko, but not full thick, thick Inko either. Much to the point where Izuku and All Might have definitely taken notice. Izuku being reminded of his childhood, All Might being reminded of what it feels like to be young again. <clears throat> and yes. You can only imagine. Once Izuku sees UA, something that he's worked so hard to get so close to, it's right there. All he has to do is keep walking as he finally has reached his reward. Well, at least, that's only if, and only if, he actually passes the test. Let's see how that goes next time, shall we?